Slop City Podcast! Oh, that's beautiful! What'd you say, bitch? Take some more, and if I have to pass away, know that I took eight ibuprofen. All right, everybody. It looks like we are recording Slop City Podcast this morning. Libby Higgins right now is uh, in the bullpen <laughs> taking eight ibuprofens. Taking eight ibuprofens, hoping she doesn't pass away today. <laughs> are we uh, recording? Yeah, we're on, brother. Good then- morning, everybody. My hair is looking quite zany today. Ooh, not as zany as it was earlier. Let's give it another go. <laughs> if we're recording, why is Randall standing up? Kaka! <laughs> Randall needs to be in the command center. Have you ever seen an uglier woman? I Have mean, you? You don't look ugly. Look at this hair. This hair is going to take me to the top, and I can promise you all that. You're going to be seeing me in movies. I'll be on Peacock TV <laughs> later this month. <laughs> Peacock TV, everybody. That is a streaming service from a peacock, actually. Peacock. It's just live footage of a peacock. Uh, just just <laughs> one peacock works for NBC. The CEO owns him. And uh, if you go to Peacock TV and download that application on your Roku or your Apple TV or whatever sort of streaming service you have, you could just check in and watch live footage of a Peacock. 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 Randy's doing sound for the Peacock uh, application. He's turning knobs, looking at these moving Cords around, get everything ready for Peacock TV, everybody. Get ready. You're about to see an hour of just a Peacock. <laughs> get ready because we're going to do this voice for another 10 minutes, folks. <laughs> for another 10 years, everybody. You guys think you could get rid of this baseball announcer voice? Well, you can't. Get ready, folks. Uh, Randy's going to set up a timer. When that timer goes off, we have to stop doing this voice, folks. Get ready. <laughs> Dude, my hair literally looks like I went into the pool and did that George Washington thing where I like folded it over. What the fuck, man? Just Ugh. put it in a bun. Gotta be putting it in a nice little bun here momentarily like I used to do when I was a competitive dancer <laughs> or a reject drug addict. They really put the hair back far oh, when you were yeah. a dancer. Like, Oh, yeah. Did you suffer any uh, hair contusions? loss, contusions, or lesions like uh, Jojo Siwa who wore her hair back so tight for years she's got permanent hair loss here in the front really? everybody everybody she's got a big bold spot here everybody unfortunately jojo siwa's head has been decapitated <laughs> <laughs> oh boy folks that was not oh looks like we got another message coming in here from the barbers they've got Just them doing their tugs like this. Just, just a nice video. All right, everybody. Randy, go ahead and set that minute timer. We can say as much as we want for one minute, and then we're done with it, folks. Yeah, we, we are going to set a one-minute timer. Randy, you can do it, or I can do it on my cell phone. I have absolutely no issue doing that. All right, folks. Get it out quickly. <laughs> get it out. Oh, my God. Is that a Toyota Celica or what? Look at that. That is a nice <laughs> reward you're going to be winning today. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we got 45 seconds on this clock here that we could get an RBI. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks as though a left-handed pitcher <laughs> is going against a left-handed batter. The baseball stadium is just going zany. Going zany's like Tina D-Ball's hair, folks. Give it up for Tina D-Ball's hair. Everybody, get yourself up to the concession stand and make sure to buy yourself a $47 <laughs> soda this evening. We've got 13 seconds, everybody. Oh, i got a lot of stuff to say. You know, get it out. Seconds. So, uh, coming here, we're going to be at the seventh inning stretch. Everybody get up and stretch. Oh, my God, it's the end of the game, folks. I'm stretching. <laughs> and that's it. All right, that's everybody. That's all we can do. This is, that is uh, going to be, we don't have a lot of segments on this show, <laughs> uh, but that is officially going to be a new segment on this show. 
each episode at one point or another. I need to stop talking in the voice. <laughs> yeah, because the timer's up. Each episode at one point or another, we will be doing at least one minute of uninterrupted <laughs> baseball announcer voices. And then people can't get mad that yep. we keep it going on way too long. Because it's a segment. It's what a if, segment. What if there's an episode where we don't do it once and like... And people get mad? Randy's like... Puts on a nice little clock. It's like, bow, now, 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 now. <laughs> guys, it's time for the baseball butt out sort of voices. Ooh, I am loving that. I think that's a good segment. It's a way for us to get it out because it's almost like a tick. It is. It's almost like an OCD thing for me. Like, I got to keep doing it. It feels good. That's oh, what. It feels like you can say anything and it'll be inspirational. 100%. I mean, and, and I, you know, I love listening to announcers. You know who I don't like listening to? Joe Buck. I don't like listening to him. For those of you that don't know, that's Jack Buck's son. Well, he's a he's a pro at, at it. He is a pro, but he's also a pro prick. Ooh. Okay. And you know that because you've had encounters. You've had encounters with I've him. I've had sexual encounters with him. And boy, he was not a generous lover. I'll tell you that. You heard it here, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> You heard it here, everybody. Comedian Tina Deball, age 29. Uh, Getting very close to the baseball announcer voice. You heard it here, everybody. Tina Deball, age 29. Formerly had hepatitis C, but her body cleared it. Uh, former heroin addict, also waitress, college dropout, had sex with multimillionaire Joe Buck, Whoa. everybody. <laughs> Wanted to start. Randy's a- going to Google it. Did <laughs> Tina have sex with? Mm. No, I didn't. But I'm going to be honest. This morning is great. I was a little upset when I woke up because. Um, I'm setting that there. If we talk in the announcer voice, that's not in the minute. We have to put a quarter in gotta there. Got to put a quarter in there. And we'll give that money not to children with cancer, but just to give it back to ourselves. For sure. It's going to go back into our Slop City bank account, which it, has, uh, I'd say, $37 in it. Whoa. I'm killing it here at Slop. I stopped it before I did it. You can't, man. People are going to get mad. Guys, if you like... <laughs> I, uh, this morning, uh, when we woke up, so I went to Randy's show last night. Randy played, uh, bass for, is it Dave Cal's? Cal's? That is correct. Cal's? Dave Cal's, K-A-L-Z. It was cool to watch Randy in his element. Uh, Rocking it. His brother shows up last night to the show, uh, Randy's brother, Jeff, and he goes, Man, you guys are in for a treat because Randy's a way better musician than a comedian. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, we were fucking laughing our asses off. So did Randy ever put his leg up on the monitor? No, no, he didn't. But he still killed it, though. Oh, yeah, he was rocking and rolling, dude. But Randy, isn't that part of the of the rock star thing to put your leg up there and look at the audience? These monitors are a little smaller, <laughs> so it would have been more like me putting my foot up on the curb on the street. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not Which, as cool. Not I would have cool. looked more elderly and not as rock and roll. I'm yeah, trying they to been downplay like, that elderly thing. <laughs> they would have been like, okay, everybody, we've got we've got a man. Okay, put a quarter in that thing. Uh, in the quarter holder. <laughs> Um, no, it was really cool to watch him. I got like some video footage of it, uh, which means that I recorded it on with myself. Right. Phone. Uh, but I do have a video camera footage of him playing and dude, they were rocking out. They were rocking and rolling. It was good. How many songs did they play? Mm, they, yeah, they play. You guys played for what? Hour and a half at least. Two, yeah, almost about two hour hours. and a half. Hour Damn. and a half. Yeah. And they were crushing it. Three dudes. Three dudes all together, known each other since 1993, which is one year after I was born. And one year after I graduated high school. Same with Jessica, Randy's uh, friend. We're the same age? Cool. Yeah. Just a boot. <clears throat> um, it was fun. It was at Off-Broadway, St. Louis, St. Louis uh, icon place. Uh, I also, while I was looking last night <clears throat> on... Uh, Google. When we Google. walked com? in there, I was looking on Google.com, and uh, boy, I really found some crazy <laughs> stuff. Did you know that you can find out how to make a bomb on the... Oh, Whoa. Uh, uh, okay. This episode's going to get record reported. Um, no. Oh. 
But, I saw yeah. him look at me. He didn't say anything, but he was making notes. Randy was <laughs> jotting stuff down. And the way he just looked back at me was like, did these cunts clap or not? <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to rack his brain and be like, did I forget to put it down or what happened? And he didn't want to say anything because he knew last time he got chastised. Mm-hmm. Um, But, uh, bu- 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 oh, so I was looking... Rafe and I got there around, you know, 7.55. Show starts at 8-ish. And uh, I was looking at their little board and at Off-Broadway, and Langhorn Slim's going to be there. If you don't know who Langhorn Slim is, look him up. You're going to like him. I know you will. Good Americana folk boy. Shit's going to sell out. I think I bought tickets last night. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Like I told him, I started to, and then I didn't. I think I did. Long Horn Slim. Long Horn Slim. Let's double check that I bought those tickets, everybody. I believe that I did. Okay. It's actually looking like I did not. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay, so I need to buy those. But yeah, um, moral of the story is that last night, uh, Randy... Basically was like, oh, yeah, we're going to do Slop City Podcast at 9 o'clock. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, right. Tina's not going to make it. Blah, 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 Tina blah, was blah. right on time. I was. I was on time today and showed up <clears throat> with coffee. With coffee. Granted, I had been. Um... Thank you. When I saw the text come through, I thought for sure it was going to say, hey, guys, I'm five. Mi- I'm running five minutes late. <laughs> Not today. And boy, when I when it said, "What do you want from Starbucks?" You I was were, you were feeling proud of me. I was feeling proud, and I also felt, you know, why can't I just believe in Tina? Why did I? Yeah. Why did I have to take it that route? Oh, I got fucking sizzled last night multiple times. By who? By fucking Randy and his cronies. <laughs> his cronies. Randy and his little cronies. Randy's out here sizzling people. Oh, I got sizzled hard. He. Number number one thing that I got sizzled for was the time. It was like Randy literally was like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna do slop steak at nine fifteen. That's all. What? Uh, yeah, right. Tina's not gonna show up." But I was like, <laughs> "You showed him I'm showing up," and I did. I showed you. So putting that in your permanent record file, Randy. He feels burnt. No, I was kind of hoping for. Yeah, dude. I don't know. We might not oh. be able to, and I thought, cool, I'd be able to sleep a little bit later. I appreciate you guys pushing through it. I mean, it's honestly for me, so that's why I have to be at work at 1030. It's now 945. Fortunately, I already told those fuckers that I'm going to be late this morning. And I sent them a message. I sent well, them a, Lord. a nice message at about 8 a.m. to let them know, you know, hey, I've got to record Slop City Podcast. And, I know you guys are all big fans. And really, whose fault is it? It's mine because I don't live in town anymore. So no. we're going around my schedule. Well, that is true. Uh, if we're putting the blame on anyone, I would love to not have it be on me because I feel like the blame is constantly on me for everything well, this, in my this life. Well, this is on me. Uh, but so that was number one thing that I got roasted for last night. Number two thing that I got roasted for, which was, in fact, a very <laughs> nice compliment <laughs> And everybody took it as a burn. I oh. told Randy and his cronies, I said, listen, <laughs> you guys. His cronies. I was like, I know Randy's schedule pretty well, you know, for the most part. I know he's got a day job. I know he goes to the, some open mics, does some shows, does the podcast with us when he can. Now, I don't know every part of Randy's schedule, mm-hmm. but I feel like you and I. Yeah. Could be good alibis for him if he was yeah. ever entangled in some sort of murder, right? Uh, maybe a, a um, embezzlement situation. But if he did do it, I would snitch on him. <clears throat> Absolutely, and I—I I mean, I'm starting to believe that I would too, because boy, I have really turned into a narc. <laughs> <laughs> I am officially a neighborhood narc, and I cannot stop. Wow. Um. So he says to you, he says, "I tell him, hey, I know your schedule pretty well." And uh, I'm going to be honest, like, I bet you guys have practiced together, what, a couple times, you know? I was trying to give them a compliment to say, like, that's how long y'all have been playing together, that it was, like, seemed like you guys have been practicing every single day together forever, kind of kissing on each other. Seamlessly bonding. And then guess who steps in and just starts 
fucking Was gross. it Randy or one of his cronies? It was not Randy or his cronies. Was I mean, it Rafe Rand- Williams? Yes, it was. Randy <laughs> Randy <laughs> did kind of start laughing and goes, oh, okay, thanks. You know, wow, we never practiced, guys. And then Rafe just fucking barreled in. And then they were laughing. They were all, him and his cronies were all laughing Having a good time, just giggling together. Were you guys backstage? It rafes little jokes. No, we were on the patio. People okay. were smoking cigarettes. I was smoking my vaporizer. So what did your partner, Rafe Williams, say? I got mad and I exited the premises. I said, you know what? Fuck oh. all you. And then, I, and then I, I went in and I watched the Grateful Dead jam band. I wasn't actually mad, but I was like, I'm not here for this. I was trying to teach them a lesson. And let them know, like, what I meant was a compliment, and I will not take any of this tomfoolery right. from you or your cronies. But what did he say? Don't know, because, uh, Randy, what did he say? Just roasted my ass. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what one Rafe Williams said verbatim, <laughs> but, man, he was holding court all night. He was on fire last night. He was in rare holding form. Court. Yeah. Holding <laughs> court. Yeah. Dude, because uh, this is what happens. I get mad. I said, you know what? Fuck all you. I tried to give y'all a nice fucking compliment. And this is this is what I get. <laughs> this is what this guy right here gets. Right. I said, I'm I'm heading in and I'm watching that Grateful Dead jam band that's doing all <laughs> covers. Okay, I, that's what I'm doing. And is that where you recorded the woman that looked just like you dancing in the... <laughs> no, that was uh, during Randy's, <laughs> uh, during Dave Cal's set. I'm like, how is Tina was... filming herself? That was the... F- Dude, Rafe and I were dying. Rafe, literally, we were up in the balcony, and this lady's just the whole time dancing, walking around, chatting it up with people. <laughs> you know, she's just moving and grooving one of the only people dancing in the entire place Mm -hmm. and Rafe looks over at her when she first starts getting going during Randy's set and points at her and he goes that's you (laughs) I go holy fuck that is me he goes that's you in 20 years and I was like absolutely yep and I mean with every song when things started getting you know she had some cool moves I will say that there was one move that she had where there was some really nice guitar stuff going on and some drums in the background because this three-piece mariachi band last night i mean they were good <laughs> um and there was it was you know just some drums guitar and this lady was like <laughs> dude she was getting it having good a for blast. her yeah. she didn't care that nobody else was doing that oh she could could literally have cared less now me am i getting on a dance floor no not even when it's covered with people um no I mean, I will if I've if I've had a few for sure. But there's definitely times I'll be stone cold sober and I'm like, let's rock, brothers. Hate dancing. Hate you you do? I feel so self conscious when I'm dancing. I think that's what uh Grateful Dead concerts have shown me is that you don't have to be good at anything. You can do whatever the fuck <laughs> you want. Well you can. You really can, but I just and nobody sure. cares, nobody's looking at me, but I'm always like Oh, it is kind of, it is odd. Am I doing a good move or not? Yeah, it's like, do y'all like this thing? <laughs> My favorite move that woman did was she did this. She goes like this. <laughs> she was getting it. She did a shout out to Tina in the future. Tina in the future. Um, So, and then this is, this is how that, uh situation got rectified i got back after watching the band and randy and his fucking buds they're all laughing oh man rafe was really roasting you if i said you you know what i'm sick of every single one of you i looked at rafe and i said you're walking home tonight oh no i didn't um <clears throat> i had beverages so i did not I got a call from beth frank should i take why don't it? you take it why don't you do it like all right everybody welcoming beth franks to the hey, slap beth city franks, podcast hold on one second Beth Franks, you are live on Slop City. Hello, Slop Citizens. My apologies. Did not know we're recording. What you doing, honeys? I literally just called to say that I missed you. Oh, I miss you. And when are you coming home? Every time you walk outside, I look on the little camera just to see you. I tried flashing you my tits and bush this morning, but I wasn't sure if you've seen it. I didn't because I had a bad connection because Randy. Randy's internet. Bitch. Yeah, it said slow connection. And we were both trying to holler at you. <laughs> yeah, we were. I thought, I thought that sounded like you. And I was like, is she with Tina? That's why I called. Yep. I miss y'all. I miss we you. We miss you, honeys. 
Tina, are you coming for the Halloween party? Yes, ma'am. I'll be there yes, October ma'am. October 28th through either November 1st or Halloween night. But I probably... That's prob- what I like to hear. Yep. That's so good news. Probably either Friday night through Tuesday or Saturday morning through Tuesday. And I will help you get... I, oh, Beth, I saw these uh, Halloween decorations yesterday. I almost fucking took a picture of them to send them Stop to you. It. Listen. What were they? So, so it was this big fucking mansion in like South St. Or like the city of St. Louis. So there's these old fucking houses. In the front, they had a scene of five different groups of skeletons. Ske- the skeleton groups. Yes. So they had one of two skeletons with martini glasses and they had hats on That's and they were drinking. now. And then, uh, dude, it went. they had that. They had, like, two skeletons sitting on a bench hanging out. I can't remember what the other ones were, but, oh boy, God, it oh was God, cool. Oh Beth, saw, Beth saw Lydia, one where... I found the house. You did find it? I found it. They have, like, a stripper, a skeleton's mm-hmm. watching a stripper. Whoa. Is that the one where it has a giant, giant yes. skeleton with a dog carcass? Yes, next to the garage. Or the barn. Yes. I, I found the house yesterday and I pinned it on my map so we could yes. go back and look at it. <laughs> Damn, we need to see those fucking so, pictures. I was so excited. I was like, holy fuck, that's the house. There's lots of skeleton scenes around and I am here for it. You know, I love a good skeleton. I am here for it. Oh, yeah. We, I, dude, and you could get really, really <clears throat> crazy with it. Like, do a mm-hmm. nice human centipede with the skeletons. <laughs> That would be that would be really nice. That put the guy in a lab so coat. Up. Put the guy in a lab coat standing up, that one skeleton, and then put three skeleton's Stop. together. Mouth to mouth to butt. Mouth to ass. Mouth to butt. Oh god. Chin to anus. I'm loving it. Yep. I'm loving that and I'm loving y'all. We love you. We're we miss loving you. y'all. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. I didn't get to go to Gatlinburg with the family. Why? Because so I, I blew my back out. Oh, I'm going to blow it out. How'd you blow your back out? Were you getting- we, well, we moved six dressers in two days. Uh. So I think that had something to do with it. Beth is nonstop. Just a working and a moving and a grooving. Well, she came to her stop yesterday. Because you blew your back, back out. Straight up blew out. I'm sorry. It's okay. And then I started bleeding today. I'm like a day early. What the fuck? It's because all of us women are together. I haven't had a period in a year, and I move in with them, and now all of a sudden I have a period again? Your body, Sorry. Your body's lining up. Plus, you live with Millie, too. And my, I mean, even though... My body's trying to become the alpha female. It's like, no, I'm yeah. going to get pregnant first. God, fuck that. Ooh, straight to hell. Yep. Hey, I need, I need y'all's opinion on something before I let you go. Okay. 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 So I'm going as the Grinch this year for Halloween, but I want to put a spin to it. I want the Grinch to be dressed up as a Jim Carrey character. Whoa. Ace Ventura. Oh, I was thinking Ace Ventura because of the tutu and... Hawaii. You could do the tutu the with the Hawaiian shirt, shirt so 100%. Yep. Yeah, I was thinking Ace Ventura, but I, then I also thought, God, there's so many other good ones. Could do the cable guy, but I think the Grinch as Ace Ventura is going to be the hit. Like, the that. Hit. that's okay. going to be it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you for settling that. I appreciate it. Maybe okay. Get, get busy on that costume. Hold on. I've got, here are my <laughs> ideas for my Halloween oh, costume. Because okay. Rafe's coming too. Rafe's going to come down to Nashville. Yes. So what we're thinking is Rafe is going to be the Hulk and, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be Bruce Banner. So wow, that's like, Bruce Banner. What? Like the scientist version of Bruce Banner. Yes. So Bruce I'll Banner. be Love it. I'll be the real version of him, That's and then it. Rafe will be the Hulk. <laughs> I mean, and we're talking walking around in ripped jeans and his fucking feet all green, <laughs> like just his feet. Yeah. Ju- no, his whole body. So we could do that, and then, or if we decide to not do that, I think I might just go as Bernie Sanders and be walking <laughs> around in like the largest suit coat ever. <laughs> And just be running from destination to destination. And saying grassroot movement. Yeah. I'm obsessed with it. Yeah, so those are those are our ideas right now. Love it. Big fan. Oh my god, this is gonna be so much fun. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Can't wait. All right. Love y'all. I'm I love gonna try ya. to keep getting Annie out of the room. Poor Annie. I don't know. She's traumatized. Is she looking around? 
she's looking around. I've, I've almost gotten her to jump over the gate twice because I have the laser pointer. She's considered it, but she's backed away because of Tilly's bitch ass. <sighs> Tell Tilly to be quiet. Tilly, Tilly just is wants, such a cunt. She just wants to be friends and she doesn't know how to communicate. So she just goes, <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> you're correct. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, all right, honeys. Well, I love y'all. Talk to you soon. Love you. Talk to you soon. Bye, bye, bye. Tina. Love you, brother. Bye, Randy. Bye. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. Clearly, Beth listened to Slap City because she knows all the characters on the show. She just knew every single one of the characters, and she properly stated Slop, Slop Citizens. Citizens. I know. Front. I That's was good. very taken aback. That was really nice. Um, So, Tilly's being really mean to Annie. She's not being mean. Whenever she hears the word Annie, she starts running towards my room, and wants she wants to see her and, and be friends with her. So, she'll run in there and bark, and then Annie's like... <sighs> Well, yesterday she came in there and she didn't bark and they got real close and we're kind of sniffing each other. And then Tilly was, bark, bark, bark. and then Annie, of course, was. <laughs> so she just wants to be friends with her and she doesn't know how to communicate. Okay, that makes sense. Did Annie bat, bat she, at she her? She doesn't bat. She just hisses and then goes and hides under the bed. Yeah. Well. She's getting better, though. Is she peeing on anything or just in the litter box? In the litter box. That was Molly that peed everywhere. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I got Annie this little cabinet, and it looks just like a cabinet, and the litter box is inside of it. Love that. Hidden I'm a away. Big fan of that. I am reconsidering my stance on cats, and here's why. Met a great one. Uh, I've told you about this cat. It's an orange tabby. Mm-hmm. And this orange tabby is really making me reconsider. Whose cats. cat is this? This is uh, Rafe's longtime friend, Mark and Shelly. Okay, Mark so and Shelly. So now Shelley. they are uh, my friends. But they have a cat named Satchmo and Ella, and they're both some sort of orange tabby. Satchmo is my number one dog. I mean, he is a cool dude. We'll sit on you, let you pet him. Oh, yes. Boy cats are so affectionate. Just he's just like a dog. I think that's why I like him. He's so nice, good natured, hangs out, sits on the front porch, goes inside when he's done, (laughs) and he he lets you pet all over him, lets you touch his stomach. He'll sit next to you and lay down. Is he a big fluffy fatty baby? No, he's not. He's all orange, kind of a skinny boy. But his sister is a big bitch, dude. She's fuck not a big bitch like rude. She's just a Huge bitch. Those female cats are something. She's sweet, though, because she's an orange tabby. She's an orange tabby. She's an orange tabby, and boy, she is just rocking and rolling. Did you know that yesterday was Wear Your Slop City merch day? Uh, I did, and I didn't wear any. I didn't know till late. Yeah. We need a do-over, because I kept seeing people send pictures. I'm like, wow, everybody's wearing their merch today, and then... I remember that Jeremy Dolce told me, and yeah. I was like, wow, I'm a fucking asshole. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't wear it either. I'm going to I'm gonna get on that slop group and make an ap- a formal apology. We're going on an apology tour. Because, whoa, uh, people tried to do something nice and supportive, and we're like, what's going on? Yep, we didn't do shit about it. God, what an ass. Did you do something, Randy? I took a picture at Soundcheck yesterday and uh, with my slop shirt on, and I forgot to put it up. We are the worst. We, we are terrible leaders. Can we please do a do-over? Well, I did. I don't know who organized it. Did Jeremy? I think it was Harmony. God, what an idiots we are. Yep. And I mean, the group is rocking and rolling now. One one point one k followers or members. And you every know? time I look, it's like there's eight new members. I'm like, who who are these people? And yeah, and that's not even, uh, that's not even close to how many people listen. It smells like farts over here, but I didn't fart, so I'm not sure what's going on. Well, I would uh, be willing to bet that it's your asshole. Um, <laughs> and Whoa. not just, not that there's farts coming out of it, it's just the regular stank. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, what'd you do last night? Libby's in town right now because she has her uh, 70th anniversary of her <laughs> high school reunion. 
Well, it's the 30th. Okay, sorry. Which is just as devastating as the 70th. Uh And we were talking last night about how the next one is the 40th and then the 50th. And people are like, yeah, the 50th is when people start dropping. (laughs) And I was like... (laughs) The fact that people are already mentally preparing themselves for that is what's even funnier. For the they're next like, reunion. They're like, wonder if it's going to be me, you know? <laughs> By the end, it's going to be three people. Everyone's taking bets. Yeah, it was it was wild. That could be fun. Everyone could kind of put money in a pot and bet on who dies by the next one. Who won't be there by the next one? Okay, so last night was the Thespian Gathering. Is that correct? It was, Well, it turned out to be mo- more of everyone. Um, we showed up at the theater at the school, and it was a lot of people that weren't thespians, and we just kind of took a tour of the school which was vo- both very exciting and traumatic at the same time. Sure. Who, oh, I saw one of your pictures or one, like a video or something. Just seeing the lo- like stairs that went up, I'm like, man, so many people were just walking down those stairs having the worst fucking day of their lives. Uh, and and the, the whole thing, it even smelled the same. But I got to see the gym where the my love of pickleball started. So I was very excited. I go, hey, you guys remember pickleball? And everybody's like, we played pickleball? I'm like, how do you, why doesn't anybody remember pickleball? Who was leading this tour? Are there any teachers that are still alive or are, have they all kicked the bucket? This was the principal. Oh, the current principal. And he was there because it's, it was homecoming weekend. So there was a game going on. There was a lot of activity. Oh. Lots of children walking around. Children children in this high school you walked up to one of them you're like listen what's your name oh it's it's Jaden or whatever fucking names they do now listen Jaden listen you're gonna think homecoming queen matters you light a cigarette in the high school you're like let me tell you something it feels like it matters now but it doesn't look at me I'm a star. And you pull up your Instagram and you just start scrolling through it and showing her videos and your ash is getting longer and longer and longer. You accidentally ash on her. (laughs) Listen, Jaden. You might think that high school sucks and I'm going to tell you, these are the best days of your lives. You better fucking enjoy it. You better be sucking a lot of cock and a lot of pussy. Because I didn't when I was in high school and I regret it. I could have had a lot of years of learning how to suck dick. But no, I was too scared to suck dick. Once you're 18, have sex with a teacher. (laughs) People say it's against the law, but come on. But I think it's great. And in fact, if I could have had sex with my shop teacher, I would have. Because boy, that man knew how to yield a Phillips screwdriver (laughs) better than anyone I've ever met in my life. And I live with a woman named Beth Franks, and she's pretty good at screwdrivers. But boy, howdy. That's a sandwich at a gramophone, which is a sandwich shop here in St. Louis. Boy, howdy. Maybe you'll know about that someday, Jaden. But right now, I'm telling you, the second you turn 18, you better have sex with a teacher. <laughs> She's like, no, I really don't want to have sex with any of my <laughs> teachers. I'm kind of just like, just watch TikToks and do TikTok dances. And um, I'm actually a mathlete. Great. Have sex with a math. <laughs> <laughs> with the please, coach. Please stop telling her to. <laughs> I have yeah. sex with everybody. Yeah, I just want to tell you, you know, stuff probably really sucks really bad for you right now. No, actually, yeah, it's really good. I have fun. I'm in some clubs. No, what I'm telling you is you're probably very insecure. There's a lot of hormones going on. You probably eat under the steps. Uh, no, no I, I actually, um, I actually like pack my lunch every day. I enjoy packing my lunch. I have a really cool igloo cooler that my mom got me from Costco and like, I mean, it's it's nice. Like I I bring myself a full full meal every day. Listen, kid, I know you're getting bullied to the point where you want to switch high schools. Actually, okay? bullying's a lot different now. Like from when I've heard, like there's the weirdos hang out with you know every like we all hang out with everyone. Like there there's a lot more awareness about bullying now. And if we have a motto, if you see something, say something. So anytime we see any wow. kind of activity b- that resembles any kind of bullying we we usually report it and it gets taken care of it's pretty cool actually listen kid i know you're gonna get detention for skipping school but i actually don't give detention anymore that's kind of like an oh. old-fashioned thing 
now. And well, I mean, I don't really have any reason to skip school. Like everything's so fun here and nice. Listen, kid, I know you you go to your locker and you just want to hide in it because, you know, kids are bullying you and the teachers are mean and you're getting bad grades and nobody <laughs> invited you to the homecoming dance and prom's around the corner and you're not going to that either. And uh, Well, uh, yeah, I mean, we don't really, no one can actually fit in the lockers. Like, that's actually something that they changed. They actually had the chemistry group did a did a um experiment tried to shove someone into a locker like 10 years ago and the kid died so we don't we don't wow. yeah listen kid i know you're gonna take spanish class and for some reason pick the name diana and you're gonna regret that for your whole high school career because you couldn't change it and you could have just picked your own name but you picked diana for some reason and well i actually picked guadalupe but i did some research beforehand so <laughs> Um, and yeah, I don't, Diana sounds kind of like, is that an actual name in it's, Spanish? It's, you know, it's Diana in English, but for some reason, uh, the teacher's going to go around and say, it's time to pick your name. And you're just going to look at the list real quick and pick Diana because you were scared to even talk in class. So you just picked Diana and then regretted it the next four years of your life. Every teacher calling you Diana for no reason. Wow. Cut to you in high school and you have on like a jersey that says Diana. Diana. <laughs> oh, God, you're just ruining this kid's fucking. She's like, wow, you seem to have a lot of problems. <laughs> you're Seems gonna like get... you have some unresolved <laughs> things going on. So many. And it was so great to walk in there and 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 unresolve the unresolved. Resolve the unresolved. It was therapeutic. I don't know how I would feel walking into my old high school. Here's what I know. That it's already been 10 years and I didn't get a fucking invite. Ooh. So. Well, the 10 year is weird. I will say that. The 20 year, fun. 30 year, we are already just having a good old time. Oh, yeah. Because y'all have seen each other again. So what did this principal say to you? Like, were, did the principal do like an introduction and say like, hey, I, I, you know, I'm the principal now. Things are different. He, he said he was a principal and he we said hey where's the lockers because they don't have lockers they don't have lockers whoa he's like Took kids don't out. use lockers anymore so he's like the main thing people ask me is about the lockers over there there was one more thing i forget what it was oh yeah we had lockers Something. in gym class like in the in the locker room i would get so mad when we'd have to go do gym because i'm like bro i'm actually sweating and you expect me to go back to school? And then it's like, can I take a shower? And they're like, no, no time for showers. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I smell like a fucking onion and I have to go walk around school and whatever. And I would like try to make my gym outfit hot. And it's like, why am I trying to make it hot? <laughs> I have the body of a, a slim potato. Like, I'm not going to look hot. I had the body of like a fingerling potato at the time. <laughs> Just just straight down. Just a nice little stick. Well, we all wanted to look hot in gym class. Oh, God. We'd, like, tie it up and put, like, butterfly clips little, in our hair. The tie over on the side. Ugh. Why did they make you... What did they call it? Dress out. I Dress can't. out for gym. And if you don't do it, you get points deducted. Well, maybe I don't want to stand down in the locker room with strangers and change my clothes. Maybe I'm sick of you motherfuckers giving me one shirt and demanding <laughs> I write my fucking name on it and then my reject mother doesn't fucking do the laundry as much as I want her to and I'm not good at doing the laundry yet. So I'm sick of wearing the same fucking shirt that actually smells like stale. It smells like fryer oil. That's and, what my shirt always smelled like. And then you'd put it in the locker thing and just keep it in there? It'd be wadded up or whatever. I can't remember. The it, whole the holes, the lockers had holes in it so the smell could get out. The Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> Dude, it never worked. And the color of my middle school or whatever, hand me that keyboard. Ours was purple. Oh, I would have killed to have purple. Ours were fucking bright yellow gold california trail junior high california trail Kansas. junior high, high california trail middle school that's what they call it now 
Oh, because it's six through eight. It didn't used to be like that. It was seven, eight, nine when I went there. Oh. It's a weird way to. Home of the Bulldogs. Boy, a lot of trauma happened at this place right here for me. Just so much. Maybe you could go back and heal it like I did last night. Uh, No, thanks. Activities, athletics. Oh, yeah. So it was home of the Bulldogs. And boy, did we have the brightest. I mean, it was just a horrendous color. No one looked good in it. It, Especially like the only people that look good in it were dark skinned people. That's it. Because like they looked good in yellow. And then you got me, my dumb fucking pale asshole, just wearing the fucking brightest yellow shirt, made my fucking (laughs) teeth look actually yellow. That basically yellow. Oh, yeah, that was the color. The California Trail Bulldogs, everybody. What's the California Trail doing in Kansas? That's what I want to know. That's what I was going to ask. It's not. California Trail doesn't need to be. In Kansas. It needs to be in California. Yeah, it needs to be in fucking California, not there. But yeah, ours was a bright yellow gold, and boy, it was fucking disgusting. So did you have gold shorts? Black shorts. So we had purple shorts and a white shirt with purple embellishments on it, I think. And we had to buy ours. They didn't give us gym shirts. We had to buy them. I don't remember. I think they gave us like one, and that was it. So... You were walking through the halls. Reli- Are you still friends with anyone that y- is at your high school reunion? Um, I mean, I, I consider myself friends with several people, but I don't talk to them on a regular basis. Yeah. But seeing them last night, I'm like, Jesus Christ, we spent a lot of time together. Yeah. And they were all talking about, remember when we were at this and drinking and remember this when we skipped school? And I was like, I didn't do any of that. I didn't drink. I didn't smoke. They all smoked. In high school? There was a smoking lounge Love it. in high school. When we got there as freshmen, they were phasing it out. So only the seniors and the teachers could smoke out there. <laughs> but the, So the seniors would be smoking with the teachers? Yes. That is cool. So That is fucking cool. My friend Jackie was like, man, I got in trouble for smoking so much out there in that smoking lounge because she wasn't supposed to because she was a freshman. Like, I got detention several times for smoking. But can you imagine being a 14-year-old child outside smoking at the school? Yeah, and one of your teachers is, like, smoking cigs with you? <laughs> I mean, what the? That's fucking cool. That's crazy. Oh, it's insane. But... Now you can't even take tobacco on a campus. Oh, yeah, you bring one of these vaporizers in there, you're getting freaking... You're getting vaporized. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll vaporize <laughs> your ass, bro. The yeah. fucking... They'll they'll fucking get you. You'll be a fucking goner. Saw the theater and that was very emotional. Oh my God. Very emotional for me. Why? Well, so in high school, I, I played basketball and whoa. then I went to a play freshman year and I was like, whoa, this is cool. I want to act. Mm. So then I joined drama department and of course, because I had... uh undiagnosed mental illness, anxiety. I never could get on stage because I was too scared. Right? So I did props, makeup, any other thing. You were the behind the scenes guy. I was behind the scenes guy and I didn't want to be. I wanted to be on the scenes guy. You wanted to be the star. I wanted to be the the star, Barbara. Barbara, you wanted to be the (laughs) star and you could have been. And then one time I auditioned and part of the problem is I was not prepared and I got up there in front of one of my, in front of the teacher, Miss Rothermick, and also an actor that I, uh, what's the word, was inspired by. Because okay. he was so good. At the time, you're thinking, oh, he's like a 30-year-old man. He's a teenager like me. <laughs> and I walk out there and I said the first line and then I blinked. This is one of the most traumatic moments of my life. Just to, I totally blanked. And this is why when I go on stage every time now, I think, oh, it's going to happen again. Okay. That so, makes sense. So I, I, I just, I couldn't even get my words. And I was so embarrassed and so traumatized. Um, never auditioned after that again. 
And I could have said to my teenage self, look, sometimes it happens. Try it again. But I didn't know. I didn't have that kind of think critical thinking. No. Um, so I was very traumatized in high school because I wanted to be on stage and all my friends were on stage and I was not. So to go there and think to myself, hey. Turn that start crying. You're rocking and rolling now. I'm going to start crying. Honeys. That's okay. And it's so stupid because it was high school, but I mean, it was, I wanted to do it for so many years and just couldn't, but I'm doing it now. And that's the good thing. That's what I'm saying. This was very healing to see the theater. Oh, this is where all the, the performing arts stuff started for me. Yeah. And where I was inspired by other kids that were doing stuff. For sure. So it was cool. I mean, I feel like they're, yeah, those things, uh, what if I just started sobbing what too? If I'm about to <laughs> sobbing. No, I mean, there's. Uh, I feel like there's many of those moments and things that happen where you're like, oh, that kind of like planted a little seed in my brain. I'm like, I wish I did drama stuff uh, when I was younger. I just was like, got voted most likely to be on Saturday Night Live, and it was like, okay, that's good enough, you know? Haha, <laughs> I'm funny. Um, but. I never did drama. I never did any of that stuff. And I, I wish I did. But I don't know. I guess maybe it's good that I didn't. Because some of the people that I know that are like, oh, I did drama in high school. They're kind of cunts. Oh, shit. You know, not always. But it's definitely, there's like a, like, like a, an arrogance to it. You know, they're yeah. like, I've been doing it for this long. Theater kids. Yes. So I think maybe it is good that I started later. And I mean, that's the important part is that we started and now we we're it. doing it. We did it. We're rocking and rolling. I don't know yeah, if I ever went and saw a play. It was it was nice once I did join the theater because then I had like I found my people. Yeah. And we would spend, uh, you know, not only would we hang out otherwise, but after school, when we were working on a play. We would be after school for hours and. And we were talking about, so I did props and we would cold call places like furniture stores and be like, hi, this is Libby from Parkway North and we're doing a play and we need a couch. Can we um, borrow a couch for a month? And they'd either say yes or no. But if they said yes, then we'd take the teacher's pickup truck. Whoa. We as teenagers would get into our teacher's truck and drive it and pick up the items. That's fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> Your crazy? teacher wouldn't be there? The teacher would be doing, you know, other stuff. And She'd they would just give the, you the keys. Yeah, she would give us the keys and we would just head out and go pick up costumes or furniture. Dude, life used to be so, so different. It was so... You do that now. It, the it, the teacher's losing their job. Teacher's losing all. their job for having sex with you. <laughs> even if they didn't have sex with you. She was the greatest. I mean, I spent so many hours at that school just doing stuff is that teacher still alive she is still alive rocking and rolling miss rother mick okay so last night was the like intro to everything intro yes tonight is where is where is it give us the deets it's at the boathouse in forest park Ooh. and someone i don't know who they didn't say who but donated the money to do the whole thing so someone from paid, our class. Paid for everything. Paid for everything. And I I want people to think it's me. Oh. I, yeah. I want them to think I'm so wildly successful. No. Yeah. I don't know who did it, and I don't know anyone's financial backgrounds, but you it's gotta, pretty cool. You got to do that bit tonight. Once everyone's like eating, <laughs> just be like, all right, everybody, I wanted to remain anonymous <laughs> until now, but... uh. I paid for this whole thing. I paid $50,000 for all of us to do this. How many people are going to be there? Because how many people were in your graduating class? I think there was like three to four hundred kids. Okay, that's what I, I, th I think I had probably about that many too. And they had about a half sign up and that's some people have spouses. So 150 people, some spouses. A lot of spouses came to the 20th. Not as many want to come to the 30th. They're over it. Yeah. So They're like, I don't want to hear about Marnie that you <laughs> fucked fucking 30 years ago okay i just don't want to so i don't know what the order of events is they asked me uh my friend holly asked me if i was interested in doing stand-up she asked me this a few months ago and i said absolutely not no no 
That that there is not anything worse I could think of. If I, which I doubt I'll be invited to any kind of high school reunion, but even if it's a 20 year one one day and they ask me to do stand up comedy, I'll be like, "No, unless you motherfuckers are paying me fat, I ain't doing this shit." <laughs> I would love to do it though. I'd roast everybody. Yeah. I'd be like, "Remember in high school? Remember in high school?" Oh, dude! If I, it would be fun. But if no. if I, um, wow, we have fifty minutes left. God, no, let's keep it going here. <laughs> um, if I did a kind of roast or something like that in high school, it would be so hateful. I'd be like, "Y'all are sheep, every single one of you." <laughs> You're sheep. And I'd like get out fucking sheep ear things for everyone to wear. I'd be like, put it on. And I'd make everybody pass it around. I'd be like, this is what you did wrong to me and women that were sexually assaulted. This is oh, what God. you. Oh, I'd fucking. Nobody light was, them. Everybody be like. I'd light them all up. Oh, I'd make it the worst fucking thing in the world. I'd be like, remember when you guys voted me homecoming queen and got me into the finals? When I was clearly high on drugs every day, not going to school, and you guys did that instead of asking me, hey, are you okay? You guys did that as a joke. Aww. It was actually really funny, and I still understood how funny it was at the time. Even though I was like, boy, this is kind of hateful. I still was like, I mean, it is a pretty solid fucking bit. <laughs> like, <laughs> nothing about me screams homecoming queen. And the fact that people voted me in that many times I that think it happened, everything about you screams homecoming queen. Is hilarious. Yeah, not at the time, though. I would have voted for you. I believe not you would Not as a joke. No. I'm like, she deserves it. You'd be like, listen, this woman is beauty and grace. She's Miss United States. I mean, there's everything about her screams homecoming queen. She does what she wants. She does exactly what she wants. She's smoking cigs. She's running away from the security man, Ben Dix, (laughs) on a daily. Ben Dix. Yeah, his name was Ben Dix. (laughs) B-E-N space D-I-X. Unfortunate. He'd be like, hey. Hey! And he was a fucking huge, large man. So he'd be running to get into his fucking <laughs> stupid little Ford Focus that said a late the school district on it and his fucking stupid security. To hey, get you? Guys! Yeah. He'd be like trying to get us. And we were like, fuck you, bed dicks. <laughs> and we'd fucking drive down the thing like, suck our dicks. I can't imagine doing that. Oh, yeah. We were fu- We We were like, no, you ain't. We would sneak out and just be like looking around for Ben Dix and we would gun it, man. He would like try to wow, block God, the fucking, I wish I had that. He would try to block the thing and we're like, suck our dicks, Ben Dix. And we'd back it up and drive the other way. Like, <laughs> I wish I. See, the kids that did that kind of stuff, I think are smarter than the other kids because they know none of that shit matters. And yeah. that's fun. I was like, I can't do it. I'll get in trouble. I'll go to jail. My parents will be mad. I'll get grounded. I didn't realize that, though, until everybody but a few people, like, abandoned me, you know? Like, after I was sexually assaulted and everyone thought I was a huge slut, I, it was, like, very obviously dramatic because it was in middle school. And at the time, it was seven, eight, nine. So I was, I think I was in eighth grade. And I'm talking every motherfucker turned on me. And somehow I was able to still I be like, I mean, it's a fucking lamest, most cliche thing for me to say. But like I was able to like be a fucking survivor where I was like, I'm going to get through this. And I did it by myself because they're, they're just people didn't know. I mean, they knew everyone knew shit like that happened. But it's like, where were the teachers? Why weren't people asking what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. that's the thing to me where I'm like, I don't want children. But if I ever had children. I'm like, bro, you couldn't pull one over on me. Because if you're this happy-go-lucky kid and all of a sudden you start acting out, I'd be like, something happened. Something's wrong. Let's figure it out. You you know, I'll get you to a counselor. You can talk to them if you don't want to talk to me about it or whatever. It's like people just didn't know. But I feel like once I got through that initial shock of everything and that trauma and like so, I mean, because people were walking by me, coughing slut at me, whatever, in the halls and all that shit. We had lockers and all that. Oh, dude, it was fucking crazy. I'm like, you telling me these fucking teachers didn't hear that shit? Of course they did. You work in a fucking high school. You're probably involved in the drama. 
you know, the teachers are probably like, yeah, I mean, listen, I know I shouldn't say this, but uh, Casey's pretty hot for a dude. <laughs> I mean, Fuck. but yeah, that's how then I started. I think it was like ninth grade probably was where I was just like, I don't give a fuck about any of you losers. And I'm like, you guys don't see it, but none of this fucking matters. And it's like, I still didn't think I was cool, but I was like trying to do what I could to like get by, Mm -hmm. you know? And I was like, and I even knew it then. I'm like, y'all are sheep. Y'all are sheep. Put your little sheep head thing on. Cause I'm going to roast y'all at the 20 year high school (laughs) reunion. You just get ready. You just get ready. And I, I mean, in a way, obviously I'm not glad that any of that stuff happened to me, but I'm like, I found a way to persevere through all of it. And I think it's made me very resilient. It's also a lot of trauma response stuff that I have and things that I have, but I'm like, you know, I did, I did the best with the cards that were dealt to me, you know? And I mean, that's good. Yeah. Cause I'm still here. I'm still alive. You're right. I didn't it. fucking, you know, I didn't let it. I mean, I let it fuck me up pretty bad, but. Well, you you didn't let it fuck you up. No, it could have been that's a lot. That's not a choice. Could have been a lot worse. Well, I'm just saying that's not a choice. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. But yeah, dude, it's like fucking. It, that, it, that's why, like, anytime I see any, like kid that comes into the bar or whatever that I work at and they're you know because there's a ton of high school kids a ton of middle school kids and whatever and it's like you know you see like a little weirdo and you can tell they're a fucking weirdo Mm -hmm. or whatever I always try to be like hey you're a fucking cool kid don't let any of these motherfuckers tell you any (laughs) different you know I always try to try to like be nice to them and give them whatever because I'm like oh god I know how fucking miserable all of that can be Right. But it's like, bro, none of this matters. Like, focus on you, bitch. You want to do drama? Fucking do it. You want to be a fucking science nerd? Do it. You want to fucking do whatever the fuck you want? Do, do it. it. That's you what we're skip here for. School? Yeah, do it. But maybe, like, let's get you back on track. Right. You know? <laughs> um, but yeah, you know what I'm talking Like, I feel so much empathy when I watch a movie and, like, watch a kid get bullied or something like that. I'm always like, Oh no! No, because oh. it's so hard, and it, they don't. And you can tell them none of this matters, and it does. It they'll never know. No, until you're that's older. their life at the right. moment. It's like, like for me, when I see like move, even the fucking Dahmer series, where it's like all these people in prison, where it's like it gets fucking intense. I'm like, dude, that's so stupid. Like you're in prison. What are you doing? Why y'all fucking ganging up on each other and being mean to each other? Like. You're in fucking prison for life, bro. But it's like, that's what you do. You survive. Whatever you're in, you just survive. You adapt and you try to figure out how to make it, you know? And I would imagine being in prison as an adult, a little thing like having a job and doing all of that gives you some sort of Mm self-worth and some sense of community or whatever. So that's why people get super involved in it. You know, it's like... Yeah, you can tell people in prison or you can tell people in middle school or whatever, like, hey, dude, listen, this is all stupid as fuck. And, you know, just really focus on whatever. But it's like it's their life. That's what they deal with every single day. So when like, you know, someone tells you like, listen, you're going to have so many more boyfriends or girlfriends or whatever. You're like, no, (laughs) but I love Tanner. This is the only one I'm ever gonna have. And it's like, (laughs) I'm over in the fucking closet huffing fucking keyboard cleaner like, get on my level brother, come on. Come in this closet, we could kiss or something, I don't know. Come on, They're like, I'm a girl. I'm like, yeah, I don't give a fuck, let's party brother. I'll kiss ya. Fuck you Ben Dix. (laughs) Dude, he was such a bitch. I wonder what he's doing now. Not really. He was probably just a fucking guy that had a job. job. right. And we were like, you motherfucker, you're evil. And he's like, these rascals. Oh, dude, poor Pulling guy. Pulling his hair like in a cartoon. Yeah. These rascals. Oh, man. Good times. Well, uh, I am excited to hear the uh, the recap. And luckily, we'll be able to do it tomorrow. So you, oh, yeah. this episode, we're going to be able to hear all of it. So... Can't wait. Good luck at your high school reunion. And um, good luck at your uh, shift in negative two minutes. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. My shift already started for the day. This is great, though. I'm so glad I get to be late for it. 
I'm glad for you, too. Oh, thank the Lord. Thanks, Randy, for getting up early. Welcome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, listen, y'all, that's that's the lesson for today. Just do whatever the fuck you want. Be whoever you want, you know. And you won't mm-hmm. listen until it's later. And then you'll yeah. be like, I should have listened. And then you'll be like. That's the lesson. That's the lesson. Just try to listen. And if you don't, that's okay. But, um, you know, just listen. <laughs> You fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nice, dude. Ashley Gay. Oh, and her mom God. coming in hot. Oh. All right, y'all. We love you. Thank you. Love we'll you. see you soon. <gasps> love you. Bye. And cut. <laughs> God damn. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's that last bit, dude. It's that last bit. That, those are some crazy farts, dude. Brunch!